today we will see SharePoint list rules so list rules are a simple if then rules based on changes to list information to set reminders and send notification when I say if then it means if a certain criteria is met when an item is changed then do something the do something part is limited it is to set reminders and email notification so let's see how to create a rule so this is my SharePoint list I'm trying to create a rule here so click on power automate create a rule and first we are we are notifying someone when a column is changed so click that so we need to choose uh, what column we need to uh, do uh, a rule for that so when the title changes and alert it to me so these are the suggestions I'm going to pick the me yeah so the first rule is when in the, when the title column is changed then send an email to me okay let's click create so that's it the first rule has been created let's create another rule click create a rule and the second one is um, let's go this condition which is when a column value changes so click on that so this is uh, slightly different from the first one the difference is between these two rules is the first rule is you specify a column value and if it changes into any other value the flow uh, the uh, the rule will trigger okay so here you can specify any column that you want to change to a particular value then it will trigger the rule so it won't trigger for any change only for a specific change for example if you want to trigger the column status and is equal to approved then send it to someone so let's pick uh, let's not pick the suggested one let's pick another user and click it okay. so this one will send an email to Shaul Hamid when the status is approved yeah okay let's create this rule so totally we have two rules okay uh, let's test it close it go ahead and create an item first this is first item I'm gonna pick it new okay then we will modify it so the so I am modifying it. So this since I'm modifying the column value, the first rule will trigger, and I'm saving it. Okay. Now let's create another item. Second item. Let's put it to new for the moment. Then we reopen the same item and we approve it. So now we approved it, so that the second rule will trigger. Okay. Let's go ahead to the mailbox and check if it is we got the email or not. So I received the first one. It says the status has been changed and can go to the item. Um, it takes you to the item. So you can verify what has been changed. And similarly, you can go to the other one where you can say when it's been modified, you can get an item and click. Similarly, if you click, it will take you to the uh, to the current item in the SharePoint list okay so back now so like this you can create another rule so when an item has been created an item has been deleted you can simply do the same thing uh, you can send it to anyone or either a group so you can also do um, similarly if you don't want to uh, I mean you want to delete the rule so click on that any rule and click the delete rule okay and similarly if you want to uh, modify it just click the rule and you can edit what to who you want to change the email or the column names okay so yeah that's it this is um, uh, rule SharePoint rules that's been newly introduced uh, so thanks for just watching the video hit the like button if you like it and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel thanks bye